Welcome to the Brocade Campus Feature Explainer Series. I'm Terry Henry. Uh, we are going to look at installing PoE firmware this time around on the ICXs. So uh, there is really three types of code on our boxes. There is boot code, there's your primary and secondary flash which contain your operating system, uh, and lastly there's the PoE firmware which very very rarely changes. Um, however, you know, it does control your PoE operation and the PoE subsystem within the device, so it's important to keep that updated when it comes out. Um, and so the way you upgrade that is slightly different than the way we do uh, other code, um, so it's, it's important to point out. Um, now, it can only be done through TFTP and SCP. You cannot do it through, um, uh, you know, a method like USB or something like that, at least not today. Um, so first the way we the way we determine what code we need if you look in the management configuration guide for the rev of code so i'm running 8050 here i look in the management guide under the power of ethernet section and i'll see the poe firmware files that i should be running for this release of code so once we determine that then we can have a look at uh, what we're currently running and so the way we do that is if I pull up a console here, um, if I do a show inline power detail, it shows me I'm currently running uh, firmware version 161 build 073. So I am going to upgrade the one on the uh, on the TFTP is or excuse me on my brocade is newer that comes with this rev of code. Um, so I'm going to do that upgrade. So to get that code. We log on to MyBrocade, as always, MyBrocade.com, to get your firmware files, locate the type of device that you're trying to download from, so in my case, 7250. I'm going to open 8050, uh, and then there's a firmware directory. So here's my boot code in the boot. Here's my, my primary and secondary images, um, but in this case, I'm after PoE firmware. So uh, I only see one file in here, and there only is one file, right? So it's um, ICX72XX PoE plus 067B013 is the uh, is the file. So we're going to download that, put it into a TFTP directory or SCP directory, depending on your preference. Um, and then once we have that done, then we are ready to upgrade that firmware. So we'll hop back over to our console. Uh, and from privilege executive mode, not from config mode, we do an inline power, right? Uh, install dash firmware. You only have one option there. Okay. Um, specify the SPX unit if it's a switchboard extender or campus fabric, or the stack unit. And this needs to be done on a unit by unit basis. So there's no range here. You can't say unit one to eight or something like that. It's per unit. The other thing to point out this is going to disrupt the PoE, right? So it's going to power off all of your PoE while it does that firmware upgrade. So be forewarned, don't do this in the middle of the day while people are on the phone, right? So um, we're going to use unit one, then specify SCP or TFTP. So TFTP in my case, 192.168.1.19 is my TFTP server. Uh, and then the file name. So in my case, I don't really want to type out that file name, so I'm just going to copy and paste it and hit enter. So immediately you're going to see the TFTP download, whether it's successful or not. It's sending the, the PoE firmware to unit one. So obviously if I had uh, other units and then it's, it's going to tell you it's upgrading in slot one. So do not power down the module. That is really important. Um, and you will see it go through, you know, all of the um, all of the pieces of this procedure. It races the firmware, sends the new programming, um, and then programming firmware. So as this, as it says, it takes about five minutes to upgrade that firmware, uh, and you'll see percentage complete here as it goes. Um, but again, you know, obviously you're not going to do this during the day. You're going to do it during a maintenance window only. So. Um, we'll see this go through its percentages as it gets closer and closer.
Okay, so the uh, programming is complete here. Um, we saw it go through a reset of module one there. Um, it it uh, resets complete, and then um, you know it it uh, writes a default for the ports, and and uh, initialization is done at the end here. So if we do a show inline power detail again to follow up. Our code version is now 167 build 013. So that started as a 161. So we know the firmware has now been uh, uh, updated successfully. And again, it did not take a reload to make that happen. It did need to reset the PoE board, though. So it did definitely did power down all of my PoE devices connected. Okay, so uh, that's it for today, and thanks for joining. Take care.